Now we want to add some icons. We can see that our finished project has several icons spread around all over the page. We are using the fund awesome icon fund and to download this or implement this in the most quick and easy way we'll go to bootstrapcdn.com that hosts bootstrap fund awesome and boots watch so we'll choose fund awesome and then we'll just copy this line create a link tag with the rel attribute with the value of style sheet the type text css and in the href we add our link from before now we should be able to add icons from fund awesome website we go to examples and we can see that we simply need to use the i tag and create a class or an element like this with the class being the name of the icon we want to use so first let's add our camera to the nav bar Just before our cameo text, we create the eye tag with the class FA followed by FA dash and then the icon name, which in our case is camera bright true. We'll also add the area hidden attribute with the value true to hide it for screen readers since this is not necessary information let's see this in our browser we now see that we have our icon let's continue the next two icons we want to add is for the app store and google play store so we scroll down and first we create the App Store logo using the classes FA and FA Apple. And once again, area hidden is true. Let's just copy this code so it will be easier for the rest of the icons. The Google Play button will get the Android icon. Let's take a look. Yes, we see it here now. Okay, so the next icons we want to insert can be found in our features section. So in our code editor, we scroll down to our features section. Then we add our icons here. Like this. The first icon will be a paintbrush. The next icon will be a video camera. The third icon will be an Instagram logo and the last icon will be a mobile icon. Let's take a look. We now see that we have the icons but the size and the color and spacing is not right yet. So to do this first we all wrap it in a div the class of h1 this will give 
the elements a bigger font size. And since we're using an inline eye tag to generate the icons, the icon size will follow the font size. To give it the color we want, we'll go inside our classes here and we'll add the text info to give it this kind of light blue color. For the padding or the margin in the bottom, we'll add the class MB-4. Let's take a new look. Great. Now that we see that it has the right colors and the right spacing. The next icons we want to add is for our pricing section. So let's go to that section. And We'll just quickly go back to the Fund Awesome website. And now we want to use these icons in a list and we want them to have a fixed width. So we can see that we need to add the FA-FW class as well. So for the first list group item, We add the paint brush icon again and also the FAFW class to make them to give them a fixed width. Then we have our this group item with the text share on Instagram. Those will have the Instagram icon and also the F double the FA FW class. Then for Card two and three, we have the advanced settings this group item, which will give the cork icon or corks icon, and again FAFW. And then for our last card, we have our cloud storage list group item, which will have the cloud icon and the fixed width class. Let's see what this looks like. Yes, we see that we have all the right icons and that they are all having a fixed width, just like our final page right here. Now we want to add the quote icons for our reviews section. We scroll down and just in the start of our paragraphs here, we will add the icon called quote left. We'll also give them a fixed width, like before. And then we want the color to be a gray color, so we use the text class, text secondary. We we'll also add 
a quote icon at the end of the paragraph. So we will add the icon quote right again with the fixed width class and also with the secondary text color. So let's see what this looks like. We can see that it looks as expected. Or oh, actually, I think we want to remove the spacing that we created. So we'll do this by selecting like this. And then like this, let's have a new look. So finally, we just need to add some icons in the bottom for our follow links, our social media links the address for telephone and mail and for our language selector so we'll scroll down here and we'll paste in this code change it to facebook and give it the fixed width now I'll copy this. Create the Instagram icon. Twitter icon. YouTube icon. And the LinkedIn icon. Then we'll replace our abbreviation and create the phone icon. We'll also add a span with the class SR only and the text telephone. So for screen readers, our icon will be hidden, but the word telephone will be pronounced. We'll do the same down here. We'll copy this, paste it here, change the icon to the inbox icon, and the text to mail. And finally, we'll add an icon to our drop down or drop up which will be the language icon with the fixed width again let's see this in the browser here we see our social media icons the telephone icon the mailbox icon and the language icon. That was all the icons that were needed.